Respect and dignity. That's what transgender, non-binary, and LGBTQ plus Nebraskans say they want to have. Eight people tell their stories in a new video by the ACLU of Nebraska, and it's timely as advocates push back against two bills in the state legislature. KTV News Watch Evans Quinesia Fraser joins us with this new story at 10. Quinesia. Rob, Julie, the producer of that video says it's not in direct response to bills concerning LGBTQ plus youth, but he hopes it can uplift Nebraskans who are part of the LGBTQ plus community. I also talked to the state senator proposing the bills. She says it's about protecting kids. We should never be afraid to show ourselves. Eli Rigatuso produced this video from the ACLU of Nebraska. In that compilation video, their responses to what equality, dignity, and respect means. I think any human being that watches that video can relate somehow. It highlights eight Nebraskans who identify as transgender, non-binary, or two-spirit. How many indigenous communities describe LGBTQ plus tribal members? Really what we want is to live and thrive. And we live in a, in a political environment right now that's using, is weaponizing our identities. Rigatuso, a queer, transmasculine, and two-spirit man, is referring to two bills being proposed in the unicameral. They don't care if we're dying by suicide. They don't care if our young people are being bullied and harassed in school because they're not cisgender, straight, presenting or acting people. State Senator Kathleen Kalth is behind the bills. The Let Them Grow Act prohibits puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries under the age of 19. A five-year-old has no idea what this kind of a decision means. A 12-year-old, no idea. An 18-year-old, no idea what this means. The Sports and Spaces Act would not allow biological boys to compete on teams with biological girls. Boys' bodies are very, very different from girls' bodies. The strength, the speed, stamina, all of it is very, very different. But it would allow for biological girls to compete with biological boys. It reverts back to the Title IX, which basically says if there is not a team for a bi biological girls, then they can compete on the biological boys. The spaces part of it is to say group locker rooms and group bathrooms need to be separated by bi biological sex. And that is done for the dignity and privacy of all students. Kalt says she just wants to protect children. Rigatuso says those children should be able to be their full selves. There's going to be a public hearing in Lincoln over the Let Them Grow Act. That's tomorrow at 1.30. And you can find Rigatuso's video on the ACLU of Nebraska's YouTube. We'll also have a link to it in this story on KETV.com.